Remove those collections. Or click the link in the description, 40% off. 747, you're gonna get it. It's an instant download. Easily dispute items in your credit reports with the easy dispute templates. It includes four templates and simple instructions. You're gonna get the instructions on how to dispute collections in your reports. How to get your three credit reports and scores. That's all three credit reports and scores from Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Where to send your letters to. Personal information update letter template. And two different collection dispute letter templates. And you're gonna get the follow-up dispute letter template. Go ahead, download these templates. You click the 40% off link in the description. You get it for 747 instant download. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Community Wealth. Today we're going to go over updating your information with the three credit bureaus. This is a letter that I drafted up strictly for uh, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. This is just a basic letter that you're just going to put together. You can use this format, it doesn't, it does, it doesn't matter. It's not a dispute letter, just updating your information. So I'm gonna expand the letter so you can see it, all right? As you see at the top here, it just has TransUnion um, address and just type in to whom it may concern. All you do is just uh, make a copy of this and you could just, all you have to do is just change this right here. All of this here is gonna stay the same for each letter. You're just gonna change the bureau and the address. That's it, or the agency and address. So for TransUnion, as you see, you're gonna have TransUnion Community Consumer Solutions, PO Box 2000, Chester, Pennsylvania, 19016. For uh, Experian, you're gonna have Experian here, okay? You just have the Experian address here. And for, obviously, Equifax, you're gonna have Equifax address up here, okay? Everything here pretty much stays the same because you want the bureaus to have the same information. So I'm gonna go over the letter, you can see it, but I'm gonna go over the letter and read it to you how it sounds. I am writing to update, correct my personal information on file with your company. Please update my address to whatever your current address is or the address you want them to use, but usually it's gonna be your current address. Please update my name to, because sometimes they have more than one name. They have, you know, John B. Smith or John Smith. But they're not, or and they're gonna have John B. Smith. John Smith, John B. Smith. Then they're gonna be one word, John B. Smith, all, all together as one word, John B. Smith. We're gonna have John Smith B. or John S. You know, something like that. They'll have several names. So you want them to have your one correct name. So your name is John B. Smith. You want John B. Smith. And that's it. Okay? So please update my name to whatever your name is. My social security number is, you want to have your social security number correct. Sometimes they have it uh, incorrect. You might have more than one sometimes. You know, I actually seen more than one social security number on a credit report. So you might want to have that to just your social security number. You want it to be correct. My only and correct date of birth is whatever your date of birth is. You want to have that on file. You don't want to have anything different. Okay. Also with the address, I've seen several addresses. They'll have your address for the last five to 10 years if you let them. So you want them to update it to their most, your most current address. Okay, your most current address or the address that's not attached to uh, any like collections or something like that, which will be a, a, an address that you have access to. Okay. And then you're gonna say, um, I do not wish to have any telephone numbers on my report. You could do that. I chose to do that, but you can actually have your updated telephone number. It could be your cell phone number, okay? It could be your, yeah, just your cell phone number. It could be uh, your house number, but just have that one phone number that you know they, they can access, they have access to you. Me personally, I don't choose to have a number on there because, you know, I have my, whatever, whatever my reason is. At, at the time when I first wrote this letter, it was just, I didn't want to have my number on there. I didn't want to have any numbers on my credit report. I would rather the credit card company or the bank call me through the, from the number I give them, which once you give that information, is going to be updated on your credit reports anyway. So whatever number you give the credit card company or the bank, once they report 
to the credit agencies, then that number is going to be updated on your credit report anyway. So just take the numbers off and then update with your latest number, okay? So then it says, please remove all other addresses from my report as they are not deliverable to me by the U.S. Post Office and they are not reportable as per the FCRA since they are inaccurate. And just say sincerely and whatever your name is, do not sign. When I first did this, I signed. It didn't really matter, but do not sign. They will say you can sign this one, but I don't sign anything. OK, now with this, you're going to have to send a copy of your driver's license or state ID. You're going to have to send a proof of address, maybe like a utility bill, credit card statement, bank statement. It could be a debit card insert. What I did was I used my PayPal debit card insert. Okay. That's what I used. And I used it all the time because it doesn't even have a date on it. But the address is still the same. That's actually the only address that... Um, that that car well it's like this that's the address I use it's actually a UPS box so I use that I, I don't use the home address I use that address and my bank statement actually come to the actual address but even my UPS box is on my driver's license and my state ID so I use that information whatever's on my driver's license state ID that's the address I use which is my UPS box my actual address that I'm staying at is not on my driver's license or state ID all right, and those that's where my credit card and my bank statements come to, but my PayPal card goes to my UPS box. So I, that's why I use my uh, my PayPal card. All right, I use my PayPal debit card insert because that's where that's the only thing that has the UPS box address on it. And of course, my credit reports, as you will see, it's on here. My credit reports are actually my credit reports are actually actually has my UPS box address on it all right so my credit reports and actually you know what when I do my tax returns because my business address through Amazon eBay they have my uh, my UPS box address so I actually use that for uh, when I do taxes as well so I have that and I also use it for my unemployment so unemployment ups box um you know uh irs ups box you know amazon ebay ups box paypal ups box credit agencies ups box all right and it's that the address that's actually on my state id and my driver's license okay all right so remember you have to have your uh, your when, when you send this letter in to the three credit bureaus for all three credit bureaus you have to have a copy of your driver's license state ID a utility bill bank statement or credit card statement that's to your current address that you're updating this to and that's pretty much it you know that's all you really have you know that's all you need all right so again this is your credit agency info update letter oh one more thing I didn't add this to this one I gotta send a different letter that's gonna have my employment position on it so you want to update that as well because when they're going to check for your credit card when it well when they check in when they're to check for your credit card and you, you want to have that information match so if on your credit report it has your job as being customer service but now let's say you're a supervisor you want to update it to supervisor if you're a manager you want to update what type of manager you are you a branch manager store manager uh, you a office manager operations manager you know um, if you a key lock supervisor whatever your new position is that justifies your income that you that could justify the income you're putting on your credit card statements or if, if you're asking for a loan or even your uh you want a mortgage or a car loan you want to have that position there when they run it you want them to see it so there won't be no questions they might not even ask for income because your position looks like okay hey that's that income so i just updated mine to manager operations because i am the manager of what well, that's the position i gave myself for my business is manager operation i don't necessarily want to be owner 
you know, because that's not really saying, well, you could be an owner, but you want to have a position that says, you know, hey, I make X amount of dollars. So I'm actually updating mine to manager of operations of NM LLC. And I'm also going to have NM LLC on there as my employer because I work for myself. So it's going to say NM LLC. So you want to update your position and you want to update your employment, who are you employed by. You know, if you were a student at one point and now you're a teacher at such and such elementary school or such and such high school, you know, you want to do that. You want to add that on there. You are a teacher at such and such elementary or high school or primary or whatever it is. You know, you're a daycare provider. You want to say you are the uh, the sole operator. You were the operator or you were a whatever the daycare, you know, a child development, whatever, whatever the name is for that, you know, child care provider, whatever you want to put that on there. All right. So, again, this is the TransUnion Info Update Letter. And that's so you can update your info to current so you can wipe off all the other stuff. And when you start disputing, they will find all those old addresses and those old phone numbers and your old employment. All of that will be gone. So there's no verification there. And as you apply for a new credit and open up new accounts, then it'll update to your most current information. All right. So I hope you get value out of this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Share, like, subscribe to It's Oasis, check out the links in the description, and yo, to the next video, let's get this money.